When we gaze into the night sky, the tiny dots that twinkle above us are mostly stars from our own galaxy, the Milky Way. Yet, beyond this glittering curtain lie countless galaxies, each an island universe with billions or even trillions of stars. Among these cosmic giants, one stands out for its unimaginable size and scale, IC1101. This is not just another galaxy, it is the largest galaxy ever discovered, stretching over 6 million light years in diameter. To put that in perspective, it's 60 times larger than the Milky Way and contains many thousands of times more stars. Understanding IC1101 is like peering into the ultimate extremes of galaxy formation and evolution. IC1101 was first discovered in 1790 by the British astronomer William Herschel, a pioneer in deep sky observation. However, its true magnitude and significance weren't recognized until the advent of powerful telescopes and imaging technologies in the 20th century. Located about 1.045 billion light-years away from Earth in the constellation Serpens, IC1101 resides at the center of a massive galaxy cluster known as Abel 2029. Abel 2029 is a gravitationally bound collection of thousands of galaxies. At its heart sits IC1101, like a cosmic monarch, dominating its surroundings not only in size but in gravitational influence. It is the central dominant galaxy, CDG, of the cluster, a position often reserved for the oldest and most massive galaxies in the universe. This placement provides key clues to its formation and immense scale. Let's take a moment to comprehend just how vast IC I-1101 truly is. While our Milky Way galaxy spans roughly 100,000 light years, IC 1101 boasts a diameter exceeding 6 million light years. If IC 1101 were to replace the Milky Way, it would engulf the large and small Magellanic Clouds, the Andromeda Galaxy, 2.5 million light years away, and even possibly reach the Triangulum Galaxy, all of which would become mere specks within its glowing halo. This astronomical size places IC 1101 far beyond the scale of typical spiral or elliptical galaxies. In fact, it is classified as a supergiant elliptical galaxy, known for their bloated shapes and diffuse structure. Most elliptical galaxies are already large, but IC 1101 is in a league of its own, a rare cosmic anomaly that reveals the upper limit of how massive and expansive galaxies can grow. Unlike spiral galaxies, such as the Milky Way, which have defined arms and rotating disks, IC 1101 is an elliptical galaxy, characterized by a smooth, featureless light profile that gradually fades from the center. It has a central bulge filled with old, metal-rich stars, indicating that the galaxy formed its stellar population early in the universe's history. Over time, these stars aged. One of the defining features of IC 1101 is its enormous halo, a diffuse sphere of stars, gas, and dark matter that extends far beyond its bright core. This halo contains not only stars from the galaxy itself, but also countless globular clusters, stripped stars from cannibalized galaxies, and possibly dark matter sub-halos. The central region of IC 1101 is also believed to harbor a supermassive black hole, possibly among the largest ever theorized. While not directly observed, models based on its mass and brightness suggest that the black hole at its core could be tens of billions of solar masses, a gravitational monster capable of anchoring a galaxy of this size. The sheer scale of IC 1101 raises a fundamental question. How did this galaxy become so enormous? The answer lies in a cosmic process known as galactic cannibalism. Over billions of years, large galaxies grow by merging with smaller ones, a violent but common phenomenon in the universe. As the central galaxy of the Abel 2029 cluster, IC 1101 is situated at the bottom of the gravitational well. This means that other galaxies naturally spiral toward it, eventually colliding and merging. 
With each merger, IC1101 absorbs not only the stars and gas from its neighbors, but also their dark matter halos. These mergers increase the mass, expand the halo, and puff up the galaxy over time. Estimates suggest that IC1101 may have swallowed hundreds if not thousands of smaller galaxies throughout its lifetime. These mergers are not quick. They take hundreds of millions of years, during which the incoming galaxies are gradually torn apart by tidal forces and their stars assimilated. As a result, IC1101 has accumulated a vast old stellar population and a gigantic featureless form. IC1101 is more than just a curiosity of scale. It is a fossilized record of early cosmic history. The stars in IC1101 are predominantly old and metal-rich, meaning they were born in the early stages of the universe when star formation was at its peak. Over time, the galaxy ran out of cold gas needed to form new stars, transitioning into a quiescent state. This lack of new star formation is a hallmark of many massive elliptical galaxies. They shine not with the bright blue light of young stars, but with the faint reddish glow of aging ones. Observing galaxies like IC1101 offers astronomers a window into the conditions of the early universe and how the largest cosmic structures evolved. Furthermore, IC1101 is a benchmark object in simulations of galaxy formation. Any model that attempts to explain the evolution of galaxies must account for how objects of this size can form, survive, and stabilize over billions of years. In this way, IC1101 continues to IC1101's home, the Abel 2029 cluster, is one of the most massive galaxy clusters known containing thousands of galaxies bound together by gravity. The presence of IC1101 at its center is no coincidence. In fact, central dominant galaxies, CDGs like IC1101, are often seen at the heart of such clusters, acting as cosmic anchors. The interactions within Abel 2029, galaxy mergers, tidal stripping, and the infall of new material are driven by the cluster's dense environment. IC1101 not only influences these processes but is shaped by them. It acts as both predator and graveyard, consuming other galaxies and growing ever more massive. Moreover, IC1101 contributes to the cluster's gravitational field and may even play a role in bending light from background galaxies through gravitational lensing. These effects help astronomers map dark matter distribution and understand the large-scale structure of the universe. Despite its size and brightness, studying IC1101 is not simple. Located over a billion light-years away, it appears as a faint, extended smudge in the sky, even through powerful telescopes. Astronomers use a combination of optical, infrared, and X-ray data to probe its structure, composition, and mass. The Hubble Space Telescope, with its high resolution, has provided some of the best images of IC1101's core. Ground-based observatories like the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, SDSS, have helped map its outer regions and the surrounding cluster. Observations in X-rays from telescopes like Chandra have revealed hot gas pervading Abel 2029, possibly heated by past galactic collisions and the activity of IC1101's central black hole. Future observatories, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, may help resolve even finer details about IC1101's formation history, central dynamics, and role in cluster evolution. The story of IC1101 is not just about one enormous galaxy. It's about the cosmic processes that govern the evolution of structure in the universe. It reminds us that galaxies are not static islands. They grow, evolve, and merge over time. Environment matters. Being at the center of a massive cluster accelerated IC1101's growth. 
The largest structures in the universe reflect its oldest, most violent histories, including early collisions, rapid star formation, and the gradual buildup of mass. Dark matter plays a hidden role. While we see the glowing stars, IC 1101's mass is dominated by invisible dark matter that holds it together. IC 1101 may no longer be forming stars, but its story is far from over. Over the next billions of years, as galaxies continue to fall into able to In a universe filled with wonders, IC 1101 stands as a symbol of extremes. It is a galaxy so vast that our minds struggle to comprehend its size, a structure so ancient that it predates most of the stars in our sky, and a system so influential that it shapes the fate of its entire galaxy cluster. More than just an astronomical record holder, IC1101 is a monument to the universe's power to create. Through countless mergers, gravitational dances, and eons of evolution, it has grown into a leviathan of the cosmos. Studying IC1101 isn't merely an exercise in curiosity, it's a journey into the past, a reflection on scale, and a humbling reminder of our place in the vast tapestry of existence. As we continue to unlock the secrets of galaxies like IC1101, we edge closer to answering the fundamental questions of where we come from, how the universe works, and what the future holds for these colossal beacons of starlight.